Hey, welcome back. <clears throat> oh boy. Shoelaces. Tying shoelaces. <clears throat> Who'd ever thought that I was going to do a video on tying shoelaces? Certainly not me. But, you know, <clears throat> as it turns out, I guess uh, there's a need. So, here I am. Uh, you know, I learned to tie my shoelaces so 50 odd years ago. And actually, I learned the wrong method, uh, as so many people do. And so all those years, I was uh, tying a, a, um, a granny knot instead of uh, tying a square knot like I was supposed to be. And uh, a couple of years ago, I watched a show on TV, and they talked about tying shoelaces and uh, the way to tie a proper knot. And I looked at how I was doing it and saw the adjustment that was needed, so I adjusted my technique. And uh, since then, I've been tying the right knot, a good tight square knot. <coughs> and um, so the other day, I was uh, you know, surfing around on YouTube, looking at uh, various videos. And what do they come across? Lots of videos on tying your shoelaces. Go figure. So uh, one thing, though, that I noticed about uh, these videos is, you know, apart from all the interesting techniques they use, um, a lot of them get it wrong. They teach you how to tie a granny knot, which is the wrong knot. You want to tie a square knot. So I figured, well, this would be a good time to uh, pull out the old camera and uh, set things right. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how to use some of these uh, techniques and um, how to tie a proper square knot instead of the granny knot that they're teaching you. So <laughs> I'm going to angle, angle the camera down now. And we'll get to it. I'm going to show you my knots. That's knots. K-N-O-T-S. Knots. Knots. It's a family show. Get your mind out of the gutter. Okay, so first, uh, what I want to show you here is just basically what the knot is supposed to look like. And uh, for simplicity here, I'm using my uh, work boots instead of uh, dress shoes. I'll give a little demo with the dress shoes later on but uh, here we go this is this is a properly tied square knot for your shoes and as you can see it the bow lays side to side it doesn't want to align itself heel to toe <clears throat> and it looks basically like that or depending on how you tie it it may come out looking like that that's a properly tied uh, square knot in your shoelace. That's what we're going for. And just to show you the wrong way, <coughs> this is what the wrong knot looks like. This is a granny knot and it wants to lay heel to toe and that's basically what it looks like. It kinda just looks like a tangle of worms in there or something. You know, it's not a good looking knot and uh, yes you can make it lay side to side but you can see that the that it really wants to lay like that. Okay, so let's get on with tying your shoes the right way. Okay, so the first method that I'm going to show you <coughs> is the one that uses the pinkies or the three fingers to grip the lace. And instead of doing that, I'm going to make an adjustment on it right away. and. Uh, because although they work, those methods work well when you have long laces, they really are kind of difficult when you have shorter laces. So what you're going to do instead is you're going to use your middle fingers. Now, relax, I'm not giving you the finger. Uh, you're going to use your middle fingers to grab the laces because uh, you can work with shorter laces that way. So, I start, I throw the right lace over the shoe, the left lace over the right lace, and bring it through and do our first part of the knot. Then I grab the laces with my middle fingers and it doesn't matter if you go in that way or that way, either way it works fine. Since we went left over right first, 
And what we're going to do is we're going to take the left pinchers here, and we're going to put them over the lace, and then bring it under and through. And the right one's going to go under and then over like this. On the right hand, the thumb is facing up, the index finger is down like that. And we just grab right here and right here, and you pull it through. There you go, you got a nice tight square knot. All right. Okay, so the other hand, if you start with the left lace and then the right lace goes over and comes through like that, what you're going to do is again you grab with the middle fingers because that uh, again, you know, works better for shorter laces. And then your right pinchers here will go over and then under just like that and your left will go under and over like that and then you go and you grab here and here and you pull it through and there you go once again you've got a nice tight square knot doesn't want to lay heel to toe it lays nicely across the top of the shoe side to side like it's supposed to. Here I've got a, uh, a dress shoe on. I'm going to show you why the three finger and the, uh, the pinky method just aren't really suitable with short laces like this. If you try the, uh, the pinky method what happens is you have to move your fingers out so you can get things around. Now I went right over left so my rights are going to go over my lefts are going to go under, and when I try to put them into position to to get a grip, I lose the laces. So, and the same thing will happen with the three finger method. Um, what will happen is it'll start sliding through your your fingers as you go, and eventually you'll uh, possibly lose it again. So. Instead of doing that, what you do is you use your middle fingers, and uh, it doesn't matter if you put the fingers in like that, or you put them in over the top like this. Either way works equally well. It all depends on how, um, how you like the feel of it. So now I can bring my laces out, and I went right over left, so I'm going to bring my right hand down and on, under. My left goes under and around. And I'm still almost losing the laces there, but I've got enough hold on them so I don't lose them. And there we go. Nice tight square knot on my shoe. No granny knots here, man. So instead of using the pinkies or the three fingers, use the middle fingers. They work really well for this type of tying, especially on short laces. All right, so the next method we're going to do is what they call the bunny ears. And this one, if I go left lace over right lace first, bring it around and through. You can remember the old uh, rhyme about tying a square knot. Uh, right over left, left over right, makes a square knot tidy and tight. I think that's how it goes. <clears throat> And that's what you're going to remember here, is since we went left over right first, you're going to take one loop, the other loop, and then you're going to do right over left. The right loop goes over the left loop, bring it around and through, and there you go. Nice tight square knot, just what you're looking for. Okay, and on the other hand, if you start with the right lace going over the left to tie your beginning, then you're going to take your left bow, and your bunny ears here, your left bow goes over the right then, goes through the hole, pull it tight, and once again, you've got a nice tight square knot, just what you're looking for. So for the bunny ears method, just remember left over right, right over left, or right over left, left over right. 
right. And so the final method that I'm going to show you is, uh, this is the one that I learned when I was a boy. I learned how to do it the wrong way. Um, this is the around the tree method. And we're going to start out, we're going to put the left lace over the right and pull it through the hole here, just like that. When you do that, you're starting with the left over right, you make a loop on the left side, and then take your right lace and bring it around like that, and then tuck it through the hole, and there you go. Nice tight square knot, just like what you're looking for. Nice, quick, easy, no problems. Okay, on the other hand, if you're going to go right over left to begin with, like that, then you just reverse it. Make your loop on the right side, take your left, bring it around, through the hole, and pull it tight. And there you go. Again, nice tight square knot, just what you're looking for. Looks good, lays side to side. How much easier could it be? It's amazing that people get it wrong. It's amazing that I got it wrong for so long. So, there you go. Tying your shoelaces. Doesn't have to be difficult to do it right. And that's what we want. We want to tie the shoelaces the right way. Oh boy. I guess a bunch of people are going to be uh, editing their videos after this. <laughs> <laughs> well, they should have done it right the first time, huh? Um, I don't think that the uh, the first method, by the way, uh, with the pinkies or the three fingers or the middle finger, I don't think that's really probably the best thing to be teaching young children. Um, it can be a little frustrating to, you know, it's a little bit more complicated to do. Doesn't work well with uh, short laces. You know, some kids will get it, some will just get frustrated by it. Better to uh, teach them either the bunny ears, uh, you know, bunny ears are cute, kids like cute things, or um, the around the tree method that I showed last. Uh, I think that either of those two would be would be the better ones for uh, young children. I guess that's it. I hope you uh, learned how to tie your shoelaces the right way finally if you were tying them wrong, and maybe one of these methods uh, works well for you. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video. I hope you learned something. If you uh, feel so inclined, uh, leave me a uh, comment. Uh, I'm happy to respond to anybody who comments on my videos. Um, subscribe, uh, so you, when I come up with new videos, you'll know about it. Um, yeah, mention me on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, sing my praises to the world. <laughs> um, until I see you next time, enjoy your life.